Without the person on the ground understanding, parish development model they will not implement. So I want to get how much have they understood. If there are some of you here who still oppose, uh, oppose parish development model, we want to see why are you opposing? Can we help you understand? We want to see acceptability of the parish development model. How acceptable is it? Do you have hope in it? Do you want to believe in it? Eh? Do you want to implement it because you cannot sacrifice for something? So, and we will also be collecting some information. So for the leaders, uh, some of, uh, I think Joshua is behind there. Uh, Joshua is uh, a staff from my ministry. We want to make sure that we are implementing and we are monitoring and we are addressing the right thing. So we'll be conducting some interviews to collect some data, which will help us to do monitoring. Uh, thank you very much. So let us exhaust, exhaust all the issues, government in our implementation. But make sure that by parish, there is someone accounted whom we can monitor with and say that one. And your, your planner and the commercial officer, we don't wait for some about Mahakuma West they eat the money. And then you say, ah, people ate the money. How could they eat this money? This money, if you touch parish development, you want no money. Pariyamo Omuiko Mera. Kwa <laughs> So they will explain the details, the groups. A group said to live up for Minga and the PDM to jump was said, Wanga said to work for any group. About to talk about Somesia, Bakor Enterprise, Honor Enterprise, you remove the center in a Jesaku, Aboka Banka. Yaba kwe kopa, aura esente ya ukaba. Mutu na kwe kopa, sente ya kusasura. Kanko miya anuma nange, uh, na, nati ya makuo, na ulisisien songa, yaba jetaga, oku ilamu, neyo ukela. Mweba lini mkama. Kwa mwetuli, ekola, hebu daka, alako zivo na wana valiyo, kutolaka ye kitongo le kilimisia, Nite kilima wanta wa seri na wawa community development. Awe tukunga wonka siri government etuwele liya komusara. Abanto wawa na wana kulipombo la nilipamo CBO. Owe kubati saka wanti wa sata wa limisya. Owe vinyanza. Owe kurofu. Owe visoro. Tuli na watono ina wantu wa wansana ato munto mweza. Atambula mba kombo la masatu. Karate anesa ate kibanda jivu. Ene mzaka kota mzaka. Realize on data. 
and I have consistently found across Africa that data collection assistants are lazy to collect the data and they are prone to forging data. So if you don't, sometimes they collect a few, then they begin to average, instead of going the pain second way. So make sure that the district team ensures that you attend to gaps in data collection very, very immediately, and the data is accurate. Because going through a district and capturing all the data of all households, it can be very tempting for data systems to skip, to estimate, and this data is critical. Make sure that this exercise is done so thoroughly. Because what is going into the database is going to determine a lot what comes into the district. So with that, I think I would want to... Uh, last comment. Uh, Mr. Kavise, you talked about station workers going out to help uh, with the enterprise selection. We have received two levels of guidance and we'll go into the details of it. We have two levels of guidance. And this guidance is going out to the category, uh, going out to the entire country. The category of people we are targeting in the PBM are the people who fall under very low resource. They are not in the money economy. However, they could have resources. So there are two types of categories of enterprises. Uh, the first category are those who have less than four acres of land. Those with less than four acres of land <coughs> fall into category one. They could do other things elsewhere, but for PDM, we are focusing on the intensive, high profit enterprises. I found that tendency for people to want enterprises they think are profitable, they perceive are profitable. We are focusing on enterprises that have been scientifically proven, and this guidance is given. It has been given by Ministry of Agriculture, by NARO, by, uh, and it has been printed in a booklet, which we thought would be uh, bringing, I don't know if you've got that guidance. Uh, the profitability has been analyzed and people are able to do this on a small piece of land. I've found people saying, for us we want to do soya. Soya, if you don't grow soya on six acres, you're not going to break even and get some, a substantial income. Although it looks very, very attractive, but when you analyze it with the Chivalo, it doesn't really work for small scale. So they are, please, as they guide, make sure they are focusing on the seven prioritized enterprises for category one, the people that we want. Then category two are the ex people who have more land. They have more than four acres, and so they can produce profitably with these uh, particular enterprises. Uh, can, can I have the, the list of those enterprises? Let me read them. It does does no harm if we repeat them. For eggs, uh, people could do rare and poultry for meat, but what has been found profitable, substantially profitable, and can be done on a small piece of land is poultry for eggs. Then we have uh, piggery. Piggery can be done on a small piece of land uh, profitably. Um, yes, for those less there are piggery, uh, diary, with diary, zero grazing, not uh, tying around the, the compound here, but zero grazing so that the animal is fed adequately. Uh, then we have fruit trees, fruit trees, uh, especially the citrus, and uh, they, they need food, also coffee. If you just have one egg of coffee, you can earn substantially. Focus on those particular uh, fish farming. Let me repeat that. Is. But, and they could be registered with the parish for that purpose. For purposes of learning from one another and also for purposes of producing something together. 
However, when it comes to production or when it comes to accessing money to borrow from the South, <laughs> there is no funding for groups. And if these groups have been formed, uh, they, they are there, they are not official groups for registration that we have had challenges in districts where they are asking these groups to pay for registration as formal groups. These are loose peer learning and production groups. They are not, because there will be no money or there will be no official recognition that you see for us we are cultural group, we are borrowing money like this. Even the money you have in each group, you may be able to give households. So the focus is on the households. Uh, when the person from Africa speaks, you share the experience of how they have organized these groups in Kabereke. Uh, and so far, it is working well. Because they become knowledge centers, uh, then they become also support centers for those who are not yet good money. They are in that group, but they have not accessed funding. How can they be supported? They can support each other to actually start their transformation without waiting. So the, these groups, I hope and pray that they were registered free. They were not charged any money because there is no uh, groups to be registered and paying money and becoming formal groups because at a certain time people will change their enterprises as they learn. So we don't, uh, this 1,444 enterprises, the biggest point of recognition is at the parish, that they are being supported at the parish, each in their parish, and they come together and have the circle management and leadership. And moved out together and come upon a key in that young car. Kale, we buy a boy and so visa. Kale, get out for the kid. It's a government as a man, not my little book of one